in the two months since I started making videos, I found myself trying to categorize my style. I'm not traditional or boho or grand millennial or cottage core, although I do have elements from each of those styles. I am definitely not any of the minimalist styles. Maybe old world. Then I was doing research for this video online and came across a newer style that describes my old-fashioned home amazingly well. Dark Academia. If you're wondering what Dark Academia is, Wayfair says Dark Academia is by no means a new decor style, duh, but rather an amalgamation of various already existing aesthetics that celebrate things such as old universities, sprawling libraries, dimly lit offices with rich textures, and dark colors. Wikipedia says dark academia is concerned with higher education, writing slash poetry, the arts, and classic Greek and Gothic architecture. More specific things include dark furniture, Victorian and Gothic influences, Persian rugs, a darker color palette with black, brown, gold, and deep reds and greens, musical instruments, and they describe objects from nature, like items from a cabinet of curiosities. If you've seen my living room video, No More Cookie Cutter Decorating, this should look familiar. So I've decided to have a little fun and go all out dark academia in my library styling. The library is just off my living room, separated by a pocket French door that allows tantalizing glimpses of each room from the other. But before I show you the fully styled academia look, I will show you what I was working with. The three bookcases hold over 700 volumes, including history, art, biography, poetry and short stories, plays, classic literature, geography, science, math, business, design, religion, philosophy, and some fiction. If you are amazed at how uniform this bookcase looks, I want to point out something. These are older books, mostly classics. This bookcase has a few newer bestsellers. The human eye is attracted by bright colors. Publishers spend lots of money on colorful book jackets and covers to call attention to their latest offerings. If it's a classic, they don't need to spend the money. The title or the author is enough. That's why this bookcase is mostly neutral. Just an interesting observation. This was my mother's trig textbook in the 1940s. The professor told her to keep the book always so she would have the trig tables if she needed to solve a problem. I keep my trig tables on my phone. Yes, I am enough of a nerd that I actually use trig. This is what textbooks look like now. Alas, not all changes are for the better. Of course, a library needs a desk. This little spinet desk was given to my grandmother when she finished high school and started college. As a child, I was fascinated by how it opened and closed and the little drawers. Another piece that fascinated me as a child was the tobacco chest, one of three purchased by my great-grandmother for each of her three granddaughters. Inside are the original metal boxes. I have 
no idea what a tobacco chest is or what the metal boxes were used for. Obviously, it's from Asia. The Burgundy Moray Love Seat was in my living room for 30 years. The rug belonged to my great aunt. The silk wall hangings were probably purchased about the same time as the tobacco chest in the mid-1930s, but were never used by anyone until I found them in my mother's basement 60 years later. The quantity of books alone gives the room an academic feel, especially the unabridged dictionary from the 1920s. Are you ready now for all-out academia? I did not buy a single object when I styled this room. It probably helps that in another life I taught English, science, math, and history. Like my mother, I keep everything, which made styling my library, Dark Academia, very easy. On the desk, my art supplies, my slide rule. I know how to use it and I know why it works. My father's old stapler and assorted items from the beach. On the bookshelf, my great aunt's spyglass, my capillary tube set. On the windowsill, my grandfather's paperweight, a pressed hellebore from the garden, my microscope. By the candle, a geode. Let me know in the comments if you think dark academia might be my style, or if you think something else describes it better. And let me know if you would like to see a dark academia DIY video. I'm thinking pressed and preserved botanicals, butterfly and insect collections, rock collections, growing crystals, scientific materials, books, a homemade cabinet of curiosity would be perfect for homeschooling families. And it would be really fun for a Harry Potter or Halloween party. Should we do that? I know what my children and grandchildren would be saying. Hmm. Now, should I read a book or write a poem? Do some sketching? look at a mosquito under the microscope, or make another YouTube video. <laughs> Sometimes the most creative solutions and the best stories begin with the most fun challenges. See you next time.